say, I'm a big sister now. I'm a big sister now. Jack has officially been out of me for well over 24 hours. It is 11.15 almost, and um, I just finished feeding him for like an hour and a half. <laughs> that took forever. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to lay down. He got some testing done, and his bilirubin levels were like just high enough to, you know, make the pediatrician not want us to really go home tonight, or if we did go home, I'd have to supplement with formula, and I don't really want to do that. So we're gonna start pumping at my next feed with him and just kind of see if that helps the levels, you know, get down to a number that they're really happy with. But most likely we'll go home tomorrow morning, which I kind of put it up in God's hands and said, you know, like it might be better for me to stay here and you know, we'll just go with the flow. And if we don't go home tonight, then we don't go home tonight and it's for the best. So that's what's happening. And I'm going to try, try to get at least like one or two hours of sleep. So wish me luck. Morning. It is 6.43 on the 9th. Baby Jack just ate again. Um, I'm now pumping to supplement because of his bilirubin levels. They're a little too high. So I didn't want to have to give him formula. So that's why we stayed the night. I think I said that before. Sorry, I keep repeating myself. It, it just feels like a blur right now. I'm living off of very, very, very little sleep. And we're hoping to go home in a few hours. He has to get the test done. And we'll probably see the doctor tomorrow, so it's not going to be a big deal if, um, you know, I still have to, like, pump and all this other stuff to supplement. I do think it was a blessing that we stayed the night because I got these cool little, like, nipple protector things. Because, like, you know, after nursing, if you just put on, like, a cloth t-shirt or whatever, like, your nipple will stick to the shirt and then it's uncomfortable and... So it was like a blessing that we stayed here because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten those. Um, I didn't even know they existed. So that's one of the many blessings I think that came with staying the night. Also, Jack is like trying to cluster feed and um, we had like a diaper issue. There's like some type of crystal things that come out um, that we were concerned that was like blood, but it's not. So just like a lot of little questions uh, are being answered. So, you know, despite we wanted to go home yesterday, like, despite us having to stay the night, there have been blessings from being here. So just wanted to give you guys an update. We're going to get breakfast soon, and hopefully I'll be able to rest a little bit after I pump. So let's do that now. So it is 1030. We've had a lactation consultant come in and talk with us. His pediatrician said that you know, as long as we get in tomorrow morning to see um, someone in their office, that we're pretty much good to go. So we're just kind of waiting on like the discharge papers and maybe if I have another like one-on-one -on -one with an OB, but we're just kind of packing up here. Jack has made another outfit change just to kind of get him more car ready. I really like the little onesie my brother and sister-in-law gave us that ties at the bottom, but for the car ride home, I thought it'd be better to have pants and he got a little bit of blood on it from um, getting his test done earlier, so we gotta wash that out. But anyways, so it's a good thing I packed more than just one outfit, which is what I was kind of expecting to happen anyways. I am kind of in my clothes. Let me show you how pregnant I still look. Okay, so I got my pants pulled up, but you know, my belly was definitely a lot bigger with Jack in it, but you know, I still look pretty pregnant maybe like five months, which is I think normal. But I'm exhausted. Definitely eating and the sunlight helps me feel more awake than I should be. I'm, I don't know how I'm surviving because I'm not really getting any sleep, but I'm hoping that once we go home and I'm in more of like a comfortable chair that I've already been sleeping in, that at least when I knock out, I knock out quick and I get like a good solid hour or two in. And with the extra help, you know, if he's sleeping a lot, through the day, then I can be more nocturnal um, and my mom can help 
watch him during the day when Juan is at work. But unless something super crucial and you know, important happens, I will check in as we load the car and head home. All right, we are in the car. We're heading home. It is 2.42. That took a little bit longer than we were hoping for, but it's okay. Baby Jack is in the car seat for the first time. Let me show you. He reminds me so much of Aubrey <laughs> when we were going home. So the last big part of, you know, this whole adventure is having Aubrey meet Jack for the first time. And we're taking a lot of social media's advice, sorry for the bumpy road, but Jack got Aubrey a gift. She's really into PJ masks right now. So Jack got her like a big book of short five minute stories about the characters. We hope that she likes it. We'll see what happens and I'll make sure to catch it on film. But now I'm just hoping that Jack can make it home without totally crying and screaming. He's definitely due for a feed but I didn't want to have to feed him and take like forever in the parking lot or, you know, like delay any more getting out of there. So he's warm and cozy and distracted. And hopefully again, we'll make it this 30 minute ride home, but we'll check in when we get there. Hi, pumpkin. We miss you so much. Well, it's baby Jack. <laughs> That's the gift that baby Jack brought you. Yeah, yeah, baby Jack went to the store and got a gift for you. <laughs> what do you say to baby Jack? Come and look at baby Jack. Come on. He's tiny. He's tiny. Look at his tiny toes. <laughs> Come and look at him. Get closer. You have big toes, huh? Because you're a big girl. <gasps> That's the present that baby Jack got you. What do you say to baby Jack? He's saying hi. Hi, little sister. Or big sister. Big sister. Say silly daddy. Why is he whining? He's grunting because I think he might be hungry. Hmm? Yeah, he might want some more milk. Mommy's going to have to get him some more milk, huh? My baby milk, but not mine. Yeah, he doesn't get big girl milk like you. No. No, 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 baby Jack. You don't get that milk. That's special milk for Aubrey. What do you think Baby Jack got you? What do you think his present is? Well, that's a new way to open the bag to get out. <laughs> what, what is, is that? Uh, it's your... Read it, Mommy. <laughs> it's your okay, I'll story. read it. That's Gecko? Who's that? Who's that person? Cat boy. Cat boy. And who's that person? A witch. And that wraps up our first 48 hours with baby Jack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for even more motherhood content. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.